Hello, America. You know, years ago, there was an announcement before the local newscast. It said, uh, parents, it's 10 o'clock. Do you know where your children are? In fact, there's still a station here in New York City that still does that. But I think the question should be changed now, maybe a somewhat modified version, because I think it's more relevant today. Parents, it's 2010. Do you know where your, where your children are and what they're learning? You should. There's a concerted effort now to indoctrinate your children with a progressive propaganda agenda. And it's going on right now, and it is everywhere. You'll see things on the Disney Channel or Nickelodeon, you know, the global warming agenda, and you're like, come on, SpongeBob, can you just talk to the crab? Many of our nation's schools are now hitting kids with a full progressive assault. And we as parents and citizens need to be aware. Yesterday, the National Day of Action to Defend Education took place. Wow. That sounds, I mean, it's not, well, who's not a defender of education? The rally re website says uh, the event was to protest against the current assault on public education. I didn't know there was one, did you? Yes. Tuition hikes, budget cuts, furlough days, intentional reduction in enrollment. So if it's really just about education and just you know protecting the kids why did virtually every socialist and communist organization in existence support this event including a couple of my personal favorites first was the students for a democratic society gosh have you heard that before where did i hear that i remember chalkboard tree of revolution this thing we've had for about a year this is when we started first putting it all together uh, look here, Bob Woodrow Wilson. Oh, SDS. SDS. This is um, where Bill Ayers came from. Van Jones, Dale Rathke, Wade Rathke. This was, this was, let's blow things up. And then Cloward and Piven said, no, 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 no. Let's, let's try to just collapse the system. The people who were the real radical F SDS in the 1960s, Bill Ayers, did blow things up. They sponsored what was in your school yesterday for your children. Also, the uh, Socialist Party USA, several progressive student alliances, and something called Fight Imperialism Stand Together, among many more. Why? It's, I mean, it's a school function. I want to show you a list of some of the organizations involved. This according to the Rally website. Look at some of these, these organizations. Of course, all the unions were there. A faction of La Raza was there, a, a, a civil rights, uh, Latino civil rights organization jumping on board. And they're apparently trying to turn this uh, into an education is a right message. And they are using this platform to allow illegal aliens to use in-state tuition as their protest message. This, this organization is also involved. I, I mean, I don't even know what this is. Do you want this in your school? Look at this. This is the eagle. I don't know, is that like some Mad Max kind of weapon? But this is a stick of dynamite. This is a radical group that wants to reclaim the southwestern U.S. for Mexico. In our schools? All of these? Really? Texas State Employees Union. What's going on? Well, there is a battle right now for the future of our country, and they know they can't get you because you recognize it. But they brainwashed our kids. They've not taught history for a while. And now there's a battle for the hearts and minds of our children because they can still grab them. And while you're busy trying to make a living, navigate through the daily madness piling up all around us, trying to figure out what Washington is even doing, learn again about the Constitution. Well, progressives are working on your children, your kids, everything. Everything is about planet worship now. This was sent to us by a teacher. This is in schools now. I like this. Planet worship. I pledge allegiance to the earth. What? Or social justice. I love the social justice stuff. And supporting Barack Obama. I mean, we've seen the stuff about supporting Barack Obama. You've seen these videos over and over again in our schools. Let me show quick clips of them. Progressives and Obama are getting considerable help from our teachers and teachers unions in public schools. You saw not only this one, but you also saw this. Okay? These aren't isolated incidents anymore. It's not simply enough to indoctrinate them with a progressive agenda. They're now being told 
who to vote for, who to support. They're being told now, and this is the really evil, spooky part, they're being told now that they know more than you do, their parents. We have shown you that progressives like Al Gore have pitted their children against parents. This is Al Gore audio smuggled a tape recorder smuggled in by one of the students that went to this speech the dad called me up and gave me the tape here's Al Gore the vice president of the United States former vice president telling thousands of teens and preteens at an inaugural youth conference not to listen to their parents watch this there are some things about our world that you know that older people don't know. What? What? Help me out with that one, Al. That's evil. I'm sure the parents appreciated, you know, Al telling their impressionable children that they know more about life. Mom, the vice president told me. Then we have Meghan McCain. She started out on Larry King Live, and she started out and she said this quick clip. I consider myself a progressive Republican. Okay, all right, like I'm a progressive Republican because it's for progress. Well, maybe she should have attended some of those child empowerment camps. Or maybe she already has. Because she seems to think that her wisdom at 24 exceeds the knowledge and wisdom of the feeble old coots who are like, you know, 40 or like 50 or, or like, they're just like so stupid. Watch this.